Okay, let's go with a 15 minute quick flow. For those of you who don't have too much time, especially if you just want something that you can add into your morning or even just at a lunchtime, so you've got time to eat your lunch, do a quick stretch and then get on with the rest of your day. So if you do want blocks, grab your blocks um, and that's it. We're going to start standing up. Okay, so when you're ready, all the way up, coming to the top of your mat, feet just about hips width distance, maybe a bit wider, hands down by your sides, drop your shoulders down, crown of the head lifting up, chin towards your chest, closing down the eyes. Okay, and we are breathing here. We're feeling those shoulder blades melting down the back. We're feeling the toes evenly weighted through the mat, lifting up the inner arch. Gentle squeeze of our glutes. Really nice. Keeping the left hand where it is, you can always keep your eyes closed or open them now. Reach the right arm up over towards the left ear. Just a gentle stretch through that left side of your neck. Feeling like somebody is also pulling that left hand down away from the shoulder, shoulder away from the neck, away from the ear. Really nice. And then take your gaze so it's now down towards your armpit, so down towards your right hip. If you want to keep any weight on the back of your head, that might just give you kind of more of a sensation. We don't want to be pulling, it's just more of an extra weight. Really nice. And then allow the chin to roll all the way down, Ro drop that right arm as you take the ear over to the left, as you take your left arm up and onto your right ear, stretching down through that right side, dropping the shoulder down. Again, feel like somebody is pulling that right arm down, stretching even further. And then moving that gaze to the chin. is towards the armpit, your gaze is down towards the left hip. And then moving your chin so it's completely down. Interlace your hands behind your head, dropping your elbows down towards one another. If you want to have a slight curve through that back, a nice bend through the knees, feel free. Again, those hands are there for extra weight rather than pulling that head down. As we inhale, we are straightening up, we are gazing up, we're opening our elbows out to the side, shoulder blades hugged together, gazing up to the sky. Exhale, rounding again, maybe you come into that bend of your knee, even deeper, rounding through that lower back now, belly hugging to the spine. Inhale, straightening up, gazing up, elbows move out, shoulders draw together. Exhale, down. And inhale up, really nice. Coming to neutral, hands down by your sides. Inhale, hands reach up, gazing up. Exhale, bending your knees, sweeping your hands down by your sides, forward fold. Dropping that head down, shaking that head, just checking in with that tension. Inhale, halfway lift, we're gonna hold here for a few breaths. You are gazing straight down, you're not looking at your shins, you're not looking at your toes. Hugging your shoulder blades together. Really nice. Feeling that length coming all the way from the tailbone, through the spine, up to the crown of the head. Exhale, softening down, placing the hands down, stepping both knees back. And pushing back into your child's pose. Just here for one big breath in and out. As we come back up through our all fours, we are sinking the hips down. 
we find ourselves in our cobra. Have your elbows bent as much as you need for your pelvis to drop down to the ground. That's fronts of the thighs pushing down as well. Forehead all the way down, big exhale. Pushing up and back, child's pose. Up and forward, tucking the toes. Forward fold. Halfway lift. And down. Inhale, sweeping the hands to the side, all the way up to the sky, gazing up. Exhale, bend the knees, softening down, forehead down. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, back into your all fours, pushing back into your child's pose. Reaching the arms forward as you come through your all fours, as you sink down into your cobra. As you push back up through your all fours into your child's pose. And then through your all fours, tucking your toes, feet come forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. And down. Sweeping the hands to the side, standing all the way up, gazing up. One more time, sweeping the hands down. Forward fold, knees bent, belly resting onto the thighs, remember. Halfway lift. Hands down, feet step back, all fours pushing back, child's pose. Reaching the hands as forward as you can as you come through your all fours as you sink down into your cobra. As you push up and back, child's pose, staying here. Reaching both arms over to the right side, stretching through the left side. Keep thinking about that left hip moving down towards the left heel. Through center, over to the right. Thinking about that right side now. Coming back through center, forehead drops down, palms of the hands together in prayer. Reaching the fingers up and over, thumbs towards the base of the neck, stretching through your triceps. If you want a deeper stretch, place your elbows onto your blocks or just walk your elbows further forward. As you think about the chest sinking down, shoulder blades hugging together. Really nice. Extending the arms again, coming all the way forward, all fours, tucking the toes. Maybe you're not ready, but if you are, up into your downward facing dog. If you're not ready, just come back into your child's pose. Knees bent, heels off the ground, wherever you need to be so that the tailbone is as high as it can be to the sky. So there is no horrid sensation through that lower back or through the hamstrings. Really nice. If you are not ready for your down dog and you are in your child's pose, come into your all fours. If you're in your down dog, you're coming into your three leg dog with your right leg up to the sky. If you're in your all fours, you're extending your right leg backwards, whether you want your toes on the floor still or lift it up so that your leg is in hip height. Exhale, we're coming into our tiger curl. Knee towards your nose, you can still do this if you're in your all fours. Inhale, extending that leg to the sky or to your hip height if you're in your all fours. Exhale again, tight curl, knee to nose. Inhale up. One more. And extend, placing back down. Left side, extending that leg, three leg dog. And tight curl, knee to nose, big exhale. And up. Exhale, and up, one more, extend, down dog or all fours or coming back to your child's pose, holding here one big breath, and sigh, good.
gazing forward, bending your knees, step, hop, jump to the front, forward fold. Halfway lift, maybe the hands are lower down on the shins now, or even fingers onto your mat. As you sink the bum all the way down, reaching the arms forward, bum down as much as you can. Really big hip stretch here. And then bum down to the floor if you can. No hands, we're coming straight into our boat pose. Remember, boat pose can look completely different. It can be toes down, it can be feet down, or it's feet up. We are holding here. We're sitting right on the bony parts of our bum. And we are breathing. Really nice. Whether you are feet down or feet up, we're all extending our arms up and down and up and down. Trying to balance, trying not to move that back. Good job. One more. Easy seat. Big breath. And sigh. Nice. Sitting up tall, reaching over. We are twisting left arm to the outside of that right thigh. Right hand behind us. Maybe you are sitting on a block at this point because you know you are somebody that rolls through that lower back. Or maybe even it's your right hand on a block. Feeling like we are twisting right on the axis of our spine. Left rib cage moving around, right rib cage moving backwards, gazing over that shoulder. As we inhale, we are coming all the way back through center. Exhale, other side. Really nice. I'm remembering to sit up tall. Still staying on the bony parts of our bum. Good job. All the way forward. Staying in this easy seat, we are just going to crawl our hands forward. And we're going to allow that head to drop down. You can turn the palms so the palms are facing up. Just resting onto the forearms. Maybe you grab your block so that you can have some support for your forehead. Okay, rolling all the way up. Now cross-legged, you would have had one leg in front of the other, so cross it so it's probably the more awkward side. And then again, crawling forward, forehead down, dropping that head down. Feeling the sensation through the outer hip through the back of the neck, down the spine. If there is too much of a sensation in that lower back, again, you can support that forehead. Rolling all the way up. Hands behind you. As you place the feet on the floor, as you just support yourself, as you lie all the way down, keeping those knees bent, driving the feet into the floor. Exhale, belly button pulls through towards your spine, towards the mat, so much that it lifts the bum off of the ground. Thinking about the crease of the bum moving forward to the crease underneath the knees. Here in your bridge, squeezing those glutes. Ex uh, <laughs> extending, activating your inner thighs. Really nice. 
softening the jaw, the shoulders, the eyes. As you come all the way down, really nice. As you take the feet as wide as your mat, and allow both knees to drop over to the right side. For more of a stretch, you can place the right foot to the outside of that right thigh, extending the left arm, gazing left. You can really calm your breath down now. Okay, both knees back up to the sky, dropping them over to the left, right arm extends, gazing right. You've got that option to place that left foot onto the outside of your right thigh. Okay, final breath in and out. Both knees all the way back up. Really good job hugging your knees in. Drawing them down towards your chest, drawing your shoulders down to the ground. Final breath in. Exhale, extending all the way down. I really hope you have time for Shavasana because essentially this is the most important part. <laughs> Hands away from the body. Dropping those feet down, gently curving the fingers up, closing down your eyes. Really focusing on your exhales to soften, your inhales to energize. Dropping the back of the head into the mat. Relaxing through the jaw, softening the shoulders down away from the ears and into the ground. Hips growing heavy, legs growing even heavier. Just being guided by your breath. Okay, final breath in and out. If you can stay longer in your Shavasana, please do. If not, starting to wiggle the fingers and the toes, the wrists and the ankles. Big stretch, fingers and toes away from one another. Bending up the knees, so rolling over to your right, your energetic side, pushing all the way up. Keeping your eyes closed for a second more. Back into your version of a comfortable seat. Hands onto your thighs, palms facing up. Taking a big breath in. And a big sigh. Hands to heart center. Chin to chest, thumbs to the third eye. Bring in all the energy you need for the rest of your day. Try to stay present. Try to stay with your breath. Thank you so much. Okay, whenever you're ready to come to the end of the class, just take the hands away from the eyes and blink the eyes open. Okay, enjoy whatever you're doing. Maybe you go on to do a different class, you come on to some more breath work, some meditation, or that was just the perfect amount for you to feel energized for whatever you are doing. Thank you so much.